It's election day in Georgia, where voters head to the polls in the two runoff elections that will determine who has control over the Senate. Bloomberg government congressional reporter Emily Wilkins joins me now in Atlanta. Emily, today's the day. Record early voting turnout. What are the polls telling us about who's favored to win? So we had more than 3 million Georgians come out and vote early. So that was before today, either in person or via absentee ballot. I mean, to just to compare, 5 million people in Georgia voted in the general election. So that's a lot of early voting. Still, we are seeing people come out to the polls today. Uh, just sort of general wisdom here is that it's mostly Democrats who tend to do early voting, absentee voting. And so we're expecting a lot of Republicans to show up at the polls today. We're expecting that to be reflected in the early results tonight. Republicans are supposed to sort of uh, take the lead until the absentee ballots get counted, at which point we expect this race to narrow considerably. Emily, uh, has President Trump's continued attacks uh, on the legitimacy of the presidential election, his claims of voter fraud, have they affected the race at all? Are they indicating they've affected turnout for Republicans? Definitely a lot of uh, individuals in Washington and some in Georgia found the call to be very shocking. Democrats have come out and criticized the president for the call, but it remains to be seen exactly what impact this is going to have among Republicans. A lot of Republican officials were kind of concerns that con worried that concerns about fraud in the November election would translate to Republicans simply not showing up to vote in the runoff. However, I've talked to a lot of Republicans here. They bl do believe that there was election fraud in November, and so this might not wind up having as big of an hmm. impact as it, as it could have had. As, as far as results go, we did learn from the November presidential election that it can take some time, depending on the state, to actually see the results. As far as today's election, when are you expecting to see a winner called? We're not expecting that tonight. We think it might take a couple days for Georgia to finally announce a winner for in, this, uh, in, in both of these Senate runoffs. Emily, I wonder um, how the state achieved this record turnout for a runoff election. What does it mean for the future of voting in the state? I mean, this has just been such an absolutely critical runoff. There has been so many volunteers knocking on doors, so many ad dollars flowing in, so many ads, really. Poor Georgians have just been bombarded with them. But remember, this isn't just a product of the runoff. I mean, Georgians have, for about a decade now, really been doing a strong grassroots push to get people educated, get them registered, and get them out to vote. I think you're going to continue to see Georgia be a swing state and be a powerhouse in terms of turnout. Bloomberg Government's Emily Wilkins live in Atlanta. Emily, thank you for your time. Best of luck today as you continue to cover this race. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.